We're recording. Okay. I recognize that this is not very good video quality. I'm in my truck because I just finished up church league basketball. What a blast. We won again this week. I'm having fun running around. It's great workout for me. And uh, for those of you who are watching and paying attention continuously to these vlogs that I'm posting, and you watched last night's video, and you know that I challenged myself to get up and go to the gym, I got to tell you, I did it, baby, I hit the gym. Yes, I made it happen, baby. So I got to the gym. I didn't wake up as early as I wanted to, so I've got to work on that. But the fact of the matter is, I got my butt to the gym and I got a workout in. So it felt so good to follow through on something that I told myself I would get done. And that creates momentum. I felt good the rest of the day. I had the opportunity to move and get my blood flowing and I just feel, feel really solid right now. Had the opportunity to run around some more playing basketball tonight. And it's just a good feeling to get the blood flowing, get the mind running and racing, um, and just totally focused and feeling good. So the workout helped. I'm looking forward to doing it, doing it again tomorrow. And yeah, that's really the story of my day. Really late basketball game. We just finished up. It's quarter to 10 that I'm home now. But uh, game started at 8.30, so we have games at 6.30, 7.30, or 8.30 every other week, or every week, and it changes. Uh, based on what time we're playing so whew, really late for me because if any of you know me which some of you do I'm trying to get to bed by nine so to have been running around up until about 15 20 minutes ago it's gonna keep my blood racing my heart pumping and probably keep me up another hour hour and a half so that being said this is video blog day 28 two eight so the number 28 made me think of a football player and I thought of football because I was running around playing basketball and that's a sport so I thought well what sport do I really love I love football and when I think of 28 in football one of the people I thought of was as Chris Berman would call him Curtis my favorite Martin from the J-E-T-S Jets 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 he's retired now but Curtis Martin wore number 28 played for the Jets and speaking of the Jets which then led me to think of Gary Vaynerchuk Gary V because Gary V's big vision for his life, not necessarily the vision for his life, but one of the big things he wants to achieve is to be able to buy the New York Jets. That's one of his goals. He's growing many different companies within his overarching umbrella company, and he's doing a fantastic job. He's 40, just turned 41 years old, and he's killing it, really is absolutely killing it, growing his business and, and building his own empire. And he talks about it all the time. He tells people all the time that his goal is to buy the New York Jets. Now, certainly there are a lot of things that have to fall in place and have to happen prior to his being able to purchase the Jets, but that's his thing. That's what he's working towards. But that being his goal, he also loves what he does. He has a passion for the activity that he does every single day, for the way he's able to get out and produce great value for so many different people in different organizations and companies and just create a culture of his own company in which he's empowering the people that work for him and to help him in living his dream out. Uh, the way he runs his business, he also allows the other people who work for him and with him to really find their passion and, and do the things that they love to do. And I'm totally convinced, not just from listening to Gary Vee, but from a lot of other people that I've heard and paid attention to and learned from and, and had mentorships through, who have really accomplished some awesome things and achieved a lot of success in their lives, they'll tell you the same thing. When you work hard at what you love to do every single day, you'll have the opportunity to have the things that you'd love to have. And, I, and this specifically is not referring to materialistic things. It can mean freedom. It can mean enjoyment. It can mean satisfaction that you know you're producing value for more people in a way that you really enjoy, that you have fun with, that excites you, that really gets you juiced in life. And I think that's important. I think even if it's not your full-time job, if you can find something to do on the side or in the evenings or on the weekends or once in a while at least that really gets you fired up and juiced. And I've touched on this before, but I'm super passionate about it. I'm super passionate about this idea that you, if it's not your full-time job, at least have a side hustle, a thing that, that really gets you excited because I think that's the passion in life on a daily basis can come from that. Can, that can be something that gets you excited. And one of the things that gets me excited is speaking to groups of people and sharing ideas and strategies on leadership and motivation and uh, communication. 
And I think those three things are extremely important in my life. They've been very important in my life. And the more people I talk to, the more I recognize that those are three aspects of anybody's life that are extremely important to them and beneficial to improve upon and really better understand as they're moving towards their goals. So it's something I'm passionate about. And one of the things I said in a previous vlog too was that it's important to tell people what your goals are. And I'm going to make it a point to be ambitious and tell more people about the things I'm trying to do. And it might seem like I never talk about my day job. That's because it's a very highly regulated industry and in financial services. So my side hustle, sharing the social media content and the videos on YouTube and giving my thoughts in this type of medium is really not allowed to share content and things of that nature in the investment world. So I have to keep that to my day job. So certainly I'm working hard at that and I enjoy it. So I don't want people to mince words and thoughts and think that I'm not focused on that because I absolutely am. I'm very, very focused on my full-time job and I work extremely hard at it and I put a lot of time and effort into it. This is another thing that really gets me excited and, and it's something that I can actually put out there on social media. So since I'm able to share it and inspire more people and certainly everyone needs to have a financial plan. I think a lot of people overlook the fact, especially when they're young in their 20s, 40s, 30s, skip the 30s, and 50s, they forget that savings and investments longer term are very, very crucial and important to your long term situation. I think it's important to focus on. That being said, I think I'm able to reach more people and provide more value with the leadership and motivation and communication content that I'm sharing in this manner as opposed to the financial planning because that's very, very specific and customized from one person to another. So I need to get off that topic and just want to put that out there that yes, I'm absolutely focused and, and committed to my full-time job. I just want to make sure that you know this other area of my life that gets me excited, which is motivation and leadership and communication, is information that I love learning about and sharing with more people because I think a lot of people find it helpful. So I want to keep sharing that and I want to keep sharing my goals around that. So I want to make sure you're aware that I do have goals in my full-time job, but I'm only sharing on here the goals I have with my side hustle because that's what I'm focused on with my videos here. That being said, my goal for 2017, one of my goals is to start finding more opportunities to speak to groups of people, whether they're middle school students, high school students, college students, professional groups and organizations, corporations and conferences, any place where uh, an organization of some sort or some entity needs somebody to come in and speak to their group on strategies and ideas and thoughts around motivation, leadership, and communication that would benefit the people of their group, their employees, their students, their organization, however it's, um, however it's created, whatever group of people it's made up of. I want to do more of that. I love it. I have a passion for it. And the times that I've been able to do it, I've gotten, I've received absolutely phenomenal feedback. And it's not because I have some super secret keys to success or the silver bullet for success in communication, motivation, leader, and leadership, but I make it fun. I'm energetic. I am not afraid to embarrass myself in groups of people. And because I am not afraid to embarrass myself, I tend to do some goofy, fun, exciting things. And when I put myself out there, when I'm speaking to groups, I put myself out there. It's authentic. It's truly me. And I think people really receive that well because... A lot of times I get people to stand up in front of them and, and preach to them about how to be perfect and why they've been successful and what other people should do just like them. And I'm like, listen, I'm struggling. There are a lot of areas that I'm being challenged and I have to learn to adapt and change and improve and grow and strengthen myself through those challenges and struggles just like everybody that I'm speaking to. I certainly haven't figured it all out. I don't have the perfect strategies to get you through it, but I have some good ideas. I have some thoughts that could potentially be helpful around breaking through and making the changes in your life that you need to make and taking the action that you have to take to achieve the things that you want to achieve. So I'm going to continue to make it a priority for myself, for the more people that I come in contact and mention it more on my videos and social media, that I'm working hard to reach out to as many people as possible to let them know what I'm doing in 2017 with my speaking. I'm trying to find more opportunities to speak on leadership, motivation, and communication. So if you know anybody or any groups or your own group or your own personal well-being or some groups and organization that you're connected with that you know need a speaker, a high energy, energetic, authentic, passionate speaker on those topics, let me know. If there's somebody you can connect me to, I would love the help. And if there's something I can help you with, as always, let me know because um, as I've told you time and time again with these videos, my goal is to provide more value to more people every single day.
Don't be afraid to let me know what you're working on, what your goals are. Make comments below. Like this video if it's meaningful to you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, yet you found some kind of value in this. Because if you're looking for more ways and more ideas that might be a little bit different from a different perspective in terms of the strategies around leadership and motivation and communication and communicating with yourself and motivating yourself to take action and do the things that you need to do to accomplish your goals, I'm telling you right here, this channel is the place to find it. I'm going to continue to put out more content and going to try to find ways to improve it every single day, every single week, every single month, continue to improve myself and improve what I can put out there for more people. Whew, I feel like I just went a million miles a minute. I hope that was helpful. If there's anything in that that you want me to touch more on, please comment below. Let me know what's helpful for you, what's not helpful, and uh, keep me posted on what I can do to help you. Let me know what your goals are. Let me know what you're struggling with. Write comments below. Send me a personalized message. However you have to do it, get your message out to me about what you're working on, what's important to you, and what you're focused on as we move into 2017. 2017 is going to be an awesome year. I have this awesome, awesome, fantastic feeling that there are going to be so many great things that happen in 2017 for me, for you, for anybody that wants to make it happen. And part of that's just being willing to accept that we're going to break through to the things we want to break through to as long as we're willing to put in the work. And part of the willingness to put in the work is doing something you're passionate about, something you love, something that excites you. Doing activities every single day that move you closer to things that you really want to have. And I could keep going on and on. I'm juiced. You can probably tell my blood is flowing and pumped from my basketball game tonight. So this has been a really long video so far. Probably the longest one I've done for my daily vlog. So I'm going to cut it now. But stay excited. Find things that you're passionate about. Stay in touch with me. Comment. Let me know what you're excited about. And my number one rule. You know it. Have fun. Be awesome, baby. Talk later. Bye.